Hello, and welcome to the first meeting with Rob. So, uh, in the first uh, in the first video, I'm just gonna explain to you the general options and the properties of uh, Revit. So, uh, after it, uh, in each session, we will focus on something special, and we will learn it. Uh, we will uh, explore it today. So basically, when you open the Revit, you have two points, uh, two choices: the project and the family. Family is basically the objects or blocks in AutoCAD and other 3D objects yeah, that you have it here too, from a door to a window to a column, a chair. Everything can be in a family or a lamp or anything. And project is where you are gonna use these families and other objects to create your project. So here we are gonna create a new project. Uh, you have different kind of template file that you can use, uh, but basically the uh, yeah, architects use architectural template or construction. Construction have more options, uh, more professional objects than architectural, but now we are going to start with architectural and then we are going to go to construction. So here we are going to create a new project, and not a project template, but a project. Um, Basically, when you, uh, you have a, your uh, Revit file, you have different kind of bars that you can use. The first one is here that you can use to create a new file project or family or open a project or family, save it or export it to other kind of files like an AutoCAD or an IFC that's sharing with other programs uh, or make an image from like not a render but not just a print of a screen. From what you're doing, and also the other optional, but it's the for, for the program. The second bar is a little bar here that is a shortcut to mostly use uh, th uh, useful things like opening or saving, or like going to 3D view from a plan or from a section, uh, or putting a camera or a walkway that I'm gonna explain to you later, and also making a section or making all lines. Thing, like uh, without any uh, thickness or make it with thickness. The other uh, bar that you have is a bar here. That's the principal bar uh, that you have. You can choose between architecture, structure, system, and other stuff. And in each of them, when you uh, enter, you have a bar on the down that give you more uh, objects. And each of these. Uh, like in architecture, when you use file here, there will be another uh, bar that's giving you uh, options from this. Uh, at the left side of your uh, window, you have two basic windows. One is properties that each of these elements that you use in a structure or architecture. Here is, are the properties for, uh, for it and a projector browser that's uh, showing you all the views that you have. Like here, when you create a new file, basically you have floor plans. The one that's in the black is the one that you are now inside. Like now we are in the level one of floor plan or sailing plans, elevators. Also, uh, now we don't have a 3D view or a section, but we add it, it will come here. Like if I click here on the 3D view, so we will make our first 3D view. Here you can see that it has opened and showing us that we have one 3D view here. The other things that's inside it, like if you want to make a calendar of your project that each part is making when, or your sheets, like if you want to do the layout here, and also all the families that you are using on your program can be found here too. So we'll start by the architecture. Just I'm gonna present to you first that what what is each, and then uh, and then in the next sessions we will enter into each one precisely to see what. It is. So in architecture, we have built part that's from the wall, windows, doors, components, which is just the, it's a component. It's like the 3D Max that you were using. So it's creating an object from different kind of forms and also roof, sailing and other stuff that's in the architectural building. Also in the circulation, which you have stairs, ramps and the railing for it. Also, you can use the railing for the balcony or something like that too. In the model, you have uh, 
uh, you can use for just drawing lines like if I go to floor plan I can use it just like AutoCAD to draw any lines I like with different tools that it has and also the text you can edit or put the uh, stuff into one model we will return to it and talk more room and area is when you want to mark a part of your plan as a special room or as a special per, uh, space openings is where uh, no matter if you are making a wall or a roof or a ceiling here uh, it gives you options for making opening in it in a wall in a shaft which in all your buildings it will make a, a continuous opening space from the um, top is, uh, to, uh, from down is to the top is level or by a face that you will choose one face in your building a wall or a roof or anything else and it will open it for you and also dormer which is basically for the walls uh, for the roofs that it will make it the uh, like a, uh, in the down of the roof, uh, like you can see the image how it is. Also, you can make it the grides and levels. That levels is off. I'm going to explain to you how to make it on and make different levels like first floor, second floor, and blah blah. And work plane. Work plane is a really important thing that we are going to go back to it uh, the, uh, when we are talking about components. We are going to go and talk about work plane and how does it work. But basically. When you are designing in a Revit, uh, you are going to choose a surface as a base of your 3D modeling each time you are creating a form or a surface. And here in work plane, it's where you can choose or modify your surface of it. Other part is the structure. In the structure, you have different kinds like uh, the, file, uh, the project that I made for you uh, in uh, the structure of Santetian, it was basically done with all this in a really easy way. So in the structure, you have beams, you have wall, but the structure wall, not architecture. Mm -hmm. And columns, floors, truss, beam, we will go back to it. And also the foundation, we have three different kinds of foundation that I will explain to you all of them. Reinforcement is basically uh, about the details. It's really in details, and um, if you are interested, I will explain to you in the late sessions. But it's something that's mostly done by the uh, structure engineers. But I can explain to you, and it's really interesting. And also, it has the opening, but in the structure, it's mostly like an architectural one, but it's for the, the structural system. System uh, is. Uh, where you are going to add electricity, lights, uh, uh, pipings, and everything, which is basically done mostly by the engineers, not us, but in the late sessions, maybe we can pass by it and I can explain to you some. Insert uh, will let you to uh, put a AutoCAD or an image or a other programs 3D file and enter it into your program. So by a link, or by an import. The difference between link and import is that link, if you change the source file, here it will change. But import, it's here. Even if you change the source file, it will not change here. Annotate uh, is where you can add the uh, symbols and other stuff for layout, uh, mostly in the plan or in section. Uh, if you want to finish your project in Revit, like you want to do the layout in Revit and not go from Revit to AutoCAD to do it. Uh, analysis uh, will let you to analyze your structure or the energy because every material that you are giving to your uh, file is uh, calculatable. That uh, what is its thermical and what is its cost and other stuff or how much time would it take to construct everything is here this is where your project will become a beam like a real deal massing and site uh, will let you to make uh, your topography and also complicated forms so here is for making complicated forms that we will explain after we explain the other stuff because it's not in priority and normally we don't have a such a complicated like Zaha Hadid style of forms to go here but it's nice to know it sometimes it can be useful and here is to make a topography that we will go back to it all of these is for topography and editing your topography that 
you can make in Revit or insert a file from AutoCAD or other programs here and make it as a topograph. Collaborate is what we talked about that uh, you can share your work with other people, engineers, or with other structure uh, architectures. So you all work at the same time on your project. Here is where you will define the boundaries and also make a collaborative space so uh, more than one people can work on a project. In view, you have all the choices uh, for uh, editing or defining your uh, view. So you have uh, graphics here that will let you to uh, change your uh, graphic properties and also make a render. And here you have a create that any view, any type of view that you can have in Reddit, you can create it by here from a 3D, a section, a layout, an elevation, a plan, or a scoop like uh, just a, a box out of it or other stuff and also a calendar like you can calendar your program so for example you can see that in the third week of construction your project is where and this is awesome <laughs> and uh, also sheet composition is here because many people many offices actually do their layout uh, directly in Revit because it's fast and it's easy and also here is the where you can uh, choose your windows like here and these windows or other options that we will look after later here you can choose which one to see or which one not to see it's like other world in the menu you have all the properties from uh, properties of your materials to the snap which is like a f from f4 to f12 in uh, autocad that will define your end point or if you want to go just in parallel lines uh, and in which lates it will jump in a snap and also the project unit. It's so important that when you open a Revit file, first of all, you come to manage and you go to project unit and you, on the length, you choose a, in which you want to design millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, or meter. For example, me personally, I like meter, so I always use meter as a design. Uh, also, in additional settings, you can define your line styles exactly like Reddit or line weights that you can say in each scale which line weight do you want to have or in perspective. Uh, also, it has some settings that here we have it too that we will later get to it and in all, all the options. Most of them, like most of the which are really important and useful, we have it down here too so you don't need to pass by here. Also, you have the project location that you can locate where are you and uh, where is your project. It can be useful because um, it will give you uh, geographical options, the uh, lightning and the sun, and, and uh, sometimes it even gives you the topography based on where is your project. The rest, we will let it now. Add-ins. All your uh, plugins that you install in Revit will come to add-ins. Like here, I just have one plugin, which is Twinmotion, which you can design something, then directly uh, take it to Twinmotion, and there you can make a video or out of it or stuff. What is modified? Basically, when you are designing anything in architecture, structure, or when you use any line, it will go directly to modify. Modify is so similar to AutoCAD, so I'm not gonna put too much time so you get bored. So basically, we have all the stuffs like moving, copying, offsetting, turning, and other stuff, but it's a, a little bit different from AutoCAD. So uh, the first thing at the next session when we learned about uh, how to make walls and different properties of walls, I'm going to explain them to you really fast and how to use it. Also, uh, for example, when you click on a wall here in the modify, you have a, a drawing option that's exactly like Revit, but it have one thing more that's to pick a line, like a line that exists in your project. Like when you choose a wall, and it goes here, you can choose it and say, for example, this one become a wall for me, and then it's over. Uh, 
the other stuffs in the program we will get to know them little by little and so that's the first session really fast and uh, i will see you next time uh, at the next session we will fastly explain everything about the walls as the modifying uh, and uh, also how to make an opening and a door or a window inside your walls and see you soon and i hope that it hasn't been boring and bye bye